Hello friends, this is Blessed Prince with you. In this video, we are going to discuss how to create a choice or list as you see in the screenshot. So let me go to my NetBeans. Okay. So now here what I have created is already a window. If you're not comfortable on how to create a window, you can please watch this video. Okay, so according to this, <clears throat> what I have done is I've created this window. Okay, now let's see how to create the choice and list okay and how to get the items from the choice and list okay now first what is the choice okay so now you can use the choice to create a pop-up list of items from which you can choose one of that okay so so for that let me create a choice and i'll create a reference variable but now i'm going to create a choice instantiate a choice object So I've instantiated a choice object. Now, so how to add a selection or add items to this choice? You can use the add method. You can simply say add of. But what I'm going to add, like you saw in the screenshot, let me add some cities. Okay. So that the user can select one of the cities. Okay, then so I've added Coimbatore. And let me add Chennai. Okay. And I can add, sorry, I can add Bangalore okay, maybe one more let me add question okay I can also add Hyderabad let me see Hyderabad. okay so I have added some five cities okay so now this will be added in the way which your add method has added okay it will be the this this choice list will be of the same order okay now so we have created a choice and we have added so added these choices okay list of choices now so this should be added to my frame window so let me say my frame dot add of my choice so I've added my choice to the frame. Okay, so and uh, the frame frame follows set layout. So it is going to be arranged from left to right. Let me run this. Here you can find a choice. Okay, list of choices. Chennai, Bangalore, Cochin, etc. Whatever we have added, the choice is ready. Now, see how, how, how can I know that which item is selected? Okay, now whenever I select an item, I wanted to uh, take this and process it. So whenever I select an item, what is what is done? An item event is generated. Okay, each each time when you click on this choice, an item event is generated. Okay, so now this item event is actually sent to any, okay, sent to a listener, the, the a listener, okay. So sent to any listener that is previously registered to receive item event notification. Now, when I click on here, I am getting an item event notification, but we are not listening. So what I will do, I will make my choice. Okay, I will make my choice to listen to an item event. So I will say add item listener for this current object. Okay, so in that case, my current object should implement item listener. So I will say this implements i'll say item listener okay if i implement an item listener i am supposed to implement the method that is available with item listener the method here is item state changed method so i'll choose here i'll say implement all abstract methods there is only one method that is item state changed method so when, whenever i press uh, whenever i click on that choice i i choose something this method is invoked now from here what i wanted to know i wanted to let me say i wanted to get the city i have selected i'll say or no selected city is equal to okay so now from my choice itself i'll choose choice object and i can say get selected item okay then so here you can find the methods get selected item i'll say get selected items okay now i've got the selected city now where I will put it, let me create a text area okay, so that we can use it for our list also. I am going to create a text 
area and let me create a reference variable text area so I'm going to create same way like the charge I'm going to create a text area I'm going to instantiate a text area okay. and here I'm going to use this constructor where I can say my rows is going to be some 10 items maximum and my columns let me say each column is going to be of size 30 I've done that now this text area should be added to my frame so I'll say frame dot add of this text area so my text area is now added to this frame now what I wanted to do whenever I choose a, a cell a city is selected I want to put this item in my text area so I can say the text of my selected city let's try to run this program okay. so we have got this choice and this text area so when I click on Chennai I've got this on my text area when I click on Bangalore I've got this okay any city I've got it okay so that's all on handling with uh, ch choice now let's see how to work on list now first why I should go for a list because in a choice you can choose only one item okay out of out of many choices okay but in a list I can select multiple multiple items so list provides me multiple select scrolling selection system okay so let me create a list so let me say list okay. and let me create a reference variable for list so same way now here I'm going to create a list instantiate a list object new list now here I can find some constructors okay now if you choose to use this list okay here you can select only one item at a time okay or I can use this constructor okay where I can mention how many rows of items in I is going to be added to my list so the, the list size will be like that or I can choose to use this constructor where I can specify the number of rows okay and also I can say whether my list supports uh, multiple selections so I can say rows comma true so that I can multiple select and I, or I will say my rows is maximum going to be 10 and multiple select option is enabled true okay so a list is created now we need to add this list to my frame so let me say frame dot add of my list okay so now list is added that's good so to this list actually list area is added okay if, if I could run okay now you could see what is that so this is our text area and this is the list area where it can get 10 items and this is our choice okay so this is the text area and this is the list area to which can hold 10 rows but no items are there so let's add something to this list so in this list what I'm going to do I'm going to add some hobbies so that a user can choose multiple hobbies okay so it's in the same way how we have added to this uh, choice i'm going to add to the list i can say add a few 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 games let me say some hockey and let me say list dot add of tennis okay to this list dot and of cricket Okay, I can add list dot add of football. Okay, list dot add of badminton. Suppose let me say I'm favorite with badminton and I wanted to put this at the first. I can say, okay, I can use the other construct. Okay, here I can, here you can see. Okay, fine. So. Add of now I'm, I have used this method okay previously where I can specify the index positions and zero is going to be the first index okay and uh, my, if you wanted to add to the last you can choose minus one okay so for example now here you wanted to choose this to display in the last I'll choose minus one okay so we have added this items to this now let's see 
uh, very good okay, so now we have that okay and we have the items in the okay list now now see the now I need to handle the events that is generated by my list okay to my list whenever I double click on an item an action event is generated or otherwise when I when I select okay, an item event is generated so my it's my list should be registered to listen to an item event so I'll say list dot add item listener okay, of this now as we have implemented item listener already so no issues it is going to call this same item state event okay so now here when i when i choose a list as i'm going to select multiple items it can return me an array of items so here i can always say string okay, selected games it's going to be an array and here i can say list dot get selected items which is going to return me an string array okay so now from this string array and then i will use an advanced for loop i can say game so from my selected games now where i wanted to put it in my text area okay so let me say text area dot i i wanted to append each time let me say because there may be multiple items now okay append this game Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Right. So I've chosen Chennai and I've chosen badminton. Okay. And also I have chosen hockey. Okay. Now I've chosen tennis, cricket and football. But I now so when I choose on these games, I don't want that my this thing to be displayed. So now what I can do, I can say, you know, if okay, e from my event, I'll get the source. Okay, so that is which item is actually uh, dealt, whether my choice or my list. I will say uh, e dot get source dot equals okay so i'll say choice object okay then deal with this okay now else we are going to deal with this i'm going to run this uh, here you can see <laughs> the city yes uh, let me choose coaching coaching is displayed and okay now so this is uh, what is that it coming in uh, a straight line and uh, the city is still there so what i can do uh, so now here i can say else okay, so text area okay dot the text i can say set it empty and <clears throat> in order to print a new line let me say plus l Now let's see. I'll choose a city, okay. and now I choose a game. So now city is gone. Okay, I can choose these things. Okay, fine. So, all right. Okay. So that's it, guys. <clears throat> Hope things are simple. So now thanks for watching. God bless you.